Senator Huckabee. Okay, I'm sorry, Governor Huckabee. Uh, Governor uh, John McCain, I assume that you knew Senator John McCain. Yes, I did. You demoted me there for a minute, Judge. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, many people may not remember, but I came in second to John McCain at the presidential nomination process back in 2008, so I got to know him quite well. We shared the stage in many presidential debates, um, spent a lot of time with him. Uh, he beat me for the nomination, but as soon as that happened, I was very happy to endorse him. I campaigned vigorously, not only for him, but with him all over the country, right up until the, uh, the day the polls closed. I never had a regret about that. Uh, I found him to be an incredibly uh, gracious and grateful person for this country. And the truth is, even though we were political opponents, we were never enemies. We never had a crossword in that entire process. Um, but th that's kind of the nature of John McCain. I, there, there are many great things I remember, one of which is in a campaign stop uh, here in Little Rock, where I am tonight. Uh, he came to campaign, and we were at a barbecue restaurant. And he did the obligatory handshakes. But what he really wanted to do was get back in the kitchen and see how they were doing the, the barbecue, how they were smoking the meats, because he uh, is known as a very uh, effective and uh, uh, quite the connoisseur of good barbecue. And so he was always learning what the tricks in the tr of the trade were. And so he spent more time in the kitchen with the owner of the restaurant asking all kinds of detailed questions about the temperature, the length of time, preparation for the ribs and the pork butts. And you could tell that he was totally absorbed. And finally, his aides had to say, Senator, we have a presidential campaign we have to attend to. We're going to have to leave this kitchen and have to leave uh, this incredibly huge smoker. But I, it was just, a, a, for me, a poignant moment of, of a person who was not only a senator and at that time presidential candidate, but he was also a human being who loved just to be able to uh, cook for his friends and his family. And it gave a side of uh, John McCain that a lot of people probably never had the chance to see. Well, you know, that's very uh, interesting, Governor. I mean, you know, we knew he was a pilot uh, and a politician and, uh, you know, an author, but we didn't quite know about the cook part of it. But I get the sense uh, from, from everything and the little that I know about uh, Senator McCain, Governor, that, that he was a guy who was in a rush, that he always had a lot to do, that he was not uh, a person who would suffer fools and certainly not a person who would waste time. Is that accurate? That's a very accurate assessment. He was uh, a person who was well studied. He understood the issues. He was very astute to what was happening. His passion was national security and the military. I think that makes sense, having been a Naval Academy graduate, fighter pilot, POW, he was especially passionate to, uh, to ensure that America did not engage in uh, methods that he believed were torture because he had been the uh, subject of, of being tortured mm -hmm. during his years of captivity. Uh, nobody can take away from him the courage that he had when he was given a chance uh, to get out of captivity early because of the status of his father and grandfather as admirals. He refused. He, he said, no, I'm not going to go unless everybody gets to go. Now, how many people would do that? A lot of people would have said, well, I'll do everything I can to get you guys out, but I'm checking out of here. They're going to let me go. And he didn't. He voluntarily stayed with the other POWs because he didn't feel that he should be treated differently because that his father and his grandfather were highly decorated uh, admirals in the U.S. Navy and had such a remarkable and stellar career. And that says a lot about, I think, his character and his integrity. Uh, you know, people have said that he was a maverick. That's kind of a way of saying he could be a contrarian. He would sometimes yep. uh, go against his own party, go against even sometimes his own vote in a previous uh, piece of legislation. Uh, but there was a sense of which uh, he was his own man. He was not a person controlled by lobbyists. He was not influenced by... Uh, people waving money at him, uh, as is so often the case in politics. Ah. And whatever people say, you cannot take that away from him. 
Uh, it is one of the, to me, hallmarks of his uh, legislative career. Whether you liked what he supported and what he uh, maybe put forth in terms of legislation, whether you agreed with it, the point is, I don't think anybody can say that he was a person who was unduly influenced by the normal pressures of political money, and that is uh, in itself a great accomplishment for, oh, for well. him as a public servant. All right, Governor Mike Huckabee, thank you uh, so much for sharing your thoughts with us on uh, the passing of Senator John McCain.